Previously on Pure Programming. This time I will talk about operators. So I decided to cut it into five parts. Let's get to it. Next, we have the bitwise operator. They are quite uh, complex and advanced, but let's discuss them. You must be familiar with binary arithmetics. Let's start. You have the bitwise end. It's the ampersand binary operator. So you take one binary number here and another one. So these are the two operands. And bit by bit, for each bit of each number, each operand, you do this operation here. You do this bitwise end. So 0 and 0 equals 0, 0 and 1 equals 1. It's just like a logical a Boolean end, but it's basically uh, 0 equals false and 1 equals true and it's the same grid, the same result as the end, the or, the xor, etc. So here we are talking about the end. So you have this table for the result and you do that bit by bit. Okay. So the 0 and 1, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 1 and 0, 0, 1 and 1, 1, etc. etc. for all the bits of your number. Here I have the value 12 as binary and 9. So 12 and 9 will give 8. Voila. The neutral element for this is a number made only of ones. If you have ones everywhere here, okay, you will, if you do an end with this number, you will get the same number as this one, the same. Uh, operand because if you have a one here whatever you put here you you the result is the same okay if you put zero you have zero if you put one you have one so if you do a bitwise end with a number that is all ones it will return the same number that's the neutral element same thing bitwise or you do this bit by bit okay zero one one but in instead of doing an end you're doing an or and this gives you this table 0 or 1 1 0 or 0 0 1 or 1 etc so 12 or 9 equals 13 it's not very intuitive like this to use this as with integer numbers but it is mainly used with flags okay the end and the or are used with flags so for example, if you are using the open window function, uh, you see most of the function in, uh, in the window library, for example, take flags at the end like this, I'm passing three flags. But between the flags, you see we are using the bitwise or. Why is that? It's a way to pass several values as only one parameter. I'll try to explain. Let's say it's, I'm not sure, and these are not the correct values here, but let's say the system menu is four, which is written 100. Zero, zero. The maximize is eight, which is 100. Zero, zero, zero. And the minimize is 16, which is 100. Zero, 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 zero. Okay. So every flag, each flag here has only one bit that is set in its value. And it's not the same for all of them. System menu is the third bit, maximize is the fourth bit, and minimize is the fifth bit. Yes, we count the bits from this, the lower bit, to this, you know, from right to left, from low to high. Um, so let's say we have those values. If you do a bitwise OR between those values, it will result, result into a value that has all those bits turn on basically set to one okay so if you pass 28 as the flag here you will basically pass three bits which means three flags so you are passing three three values into only one each bit is a flag and somewhere in the open window function there will be some code to test okay is this bit here is it um, one or zero to do this test you are just doing an end 
with the corresponding flag. So if you are testing my 28, which is here, doing an end with this one, which is the maximize, the same here, we are testing is the fourth bit one. If it returns something different than zero, basically if it returns itself, meaning with the window maximize, it means that the flag is on and then you can, in this context, you can draw the uh, maximize uh, uh, button in the uh, title bar. Two more bitwise operators. We have the bitwise not. It's just like the Boolean not. Not zero is one, not one is zero. And you do that bit by bit. Okay, so it's a unary operator. and it, it has only one operand. And for example, you take not 12 here and you negate every bit and it will get uh, this binary representation, which is 243 in ASCII or a negative 13 as a byte because uh, for signed types, the highest bit here, the leftmost bit is the bit for the sign. So one meaning it is a negative number. So here it's negative 13. The next one is the uh, bitwise XOR. It works exactly the same way. You take this table, it's the exclusive OR between bits. So, okay, you have those values and you take bit by bit and you apply this table and you get a result. Two other operators, bitwise operator, are the shift, either left shift or right shift. Left shift or right shift are binary operators. They have two operands, a number, this a double bracket here, left bracket to say it's going on the left shifting on the left and this is the number of bits the operand is shifted. Let's take an example. Okay, this guy is 76 in binary made of those bits. Okay, if you shift all this number by three bits on the left, you will just add three zeros here at the on the right, but lose these three bits on the left. So your result is this guy. So from 76, if you shift by three, you get 96. What you don't see here is that uh, shifting by N bits is almost like multiplying by two to the power of N, because each time you shift by one bit, you multiply by two. Here, 76, of course, multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 being 8. So 76 multiplied by 8 is not 96, of course. But if, if you do that, you see 76 times 8 is actually 608. And if, if you just keep the part that is on 8 bits, it gives you 96. On the same uh, concept, you have the right shift. So you shift. Uh, you shift the bits on the right, so you have a binary representation here. You have shifting it by three bits, okay? So you are adding new bits on the left and losing the bits on the right. So you, we are losing these three bits here and gaining, I would say, three zeros. But the difference with the left shift is that when you're doing the right shift, the bits that you're adding on the left are the same as the one, the left leftmost bit uh, of your operand. Here it's a zero, so we add three zeros. So 76 shifted on the right by three bits gives you nine. But if you take if you take this here, which is negative 116, um, because there is a one here, then uh, if you shift by five bits, you will lose these five bits here. So you will remain with the one zero zero, but the one on the appearing on the left, they're going to be ones. Okay. So one, 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 maybe uh, I say two, too many ones, but there's <laughs> this number right here, uh, which is negative three. So shifting on the right by N bits is almost like dividing by two to the power of N, but uh, an integer division. Okay negative 16 divided by 2 to the power of 5, which is 32, 
it gives you negative 3. That works.